Morphology characterization of SSC305 solder by the secondary electron and backscattered electron imaging SEM. In materials, morphology is the study of form comprising shape, size, and structure. A general morphological analysis usually provides quantified information about the size, shape and phase present in a sample. Scanning electron microscopy, SEM, is one of the common techniques to undergo morphology analysis. SEM undergoes morphology analysis through two imaging modes which are secondary electron, SC, and backscattered electron, BSE, where these two imaging modes work by collecting emitted electron signals from a sample. Secondary electrons originate from the surface or the near-surface regions of the sample. They are a result of inelastic interactions between the primary electron beam and the sample and have lower energy than the backscattered electrons. Backscattered electrons BSEs, are high-energy electrons that are produced by the elastic scattering of the primary beam electrons with the atom nuclei. The yield of BSEs, that is the ratio of the number of emitted BSEs and the amount of primary beam electrons, depends on the atomic number. The higher the atomic number, or the heavier the element, the brighter the contrast. SAC305 solder is given to design and carry out a morphology characterization. SAC305 is a lead-free alloy that contains 96.5% tin, 3% silver, and half a percent copper. In general, there are a few steps required for the sample preparation such as wear gloves, sectioning, mounting, placing the specimen stub on the sample holder and run the SEM. Step 1. Wear gloves. Do not use your bare hands to handle any sample components, including samples, sample holders, sample stubs, and the sample exchange equipment. The SEM system is most vulnerable to contamination due to hand grease. Step 2. Sectioning. Cut the SSC305 solder bar into small pieces. Step 3. Mounting. Mount the specimen on the stub using conductive double-sided sticky tape. Step 4. Place the specimen stub on the sample holder. Step 5. Run SEM. Make sure it is carried out in vacuum condition. From SE and BSE, different results can be obtained. SE resulting micrograph that reveals the topography of the sample surface. The size and shape of different phases could be observed significantly. BSE resulting micrograph that consists of obvious contrast that separate different phases clearly. The light smooth gray region is the primary beta tin matrix while the darker rough gray region is the intermetallic compound of AG3SN and CU6SN5. That's all for our presentation. Thank you.